Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into some winter things. I am reviewing all of the TNA Super Puffs, the infamous Super Puff coat, the one that became a meme, and I bought all of them so that you don't have to. I also have a very special guest today to review the Mr. TNA Super Puff. So stay tuned for that if you want to match your significant other. First thing to note is that all of the Super Puffs have some really great features. They all come with a removable hood if you don't love the look of a hood or prefer to just wear a toque to keep your ears warm or beanie if you're in the United States. They all have a soft feel storm cuff for the girls, they come up the wrist and they have thumb holes, which is my favorite. They all feature an inside zipper pocket if you wanna keep something safe in there or warm. I know in Canada, it gets very cold and your phone tends to shut off when it gets cold. So having that inside pocket is a really nice feature. All of the Super Puffs also have a button front closure to hide the zipper and just make your jacket look a little bit more sleek. So getting into our first jacket, we've got the Super Puff Shorty. This is the shortest version of the jacket. On me, I'm five foot six. It hits me sort of right at my hips, right where my high rise jeans end. Super Puff Shorty works great in the size extra small for me. If you're into that sort of cropped puffy look, I think it's a really fun option. I personally find it a little bit too short and I just prefer my bum to be covered. Just a personal choice, but I do think it's a really cool statement. And you'll notice on the Aritzia website that the Super Puff has a lot of variations. You can get it matte, you can get it shiny, you can get it corduroy. And I think the cropped one would look really cute in corduroy. I got the shorty version of this jacket in the color Sand Bluff. It's this really beautiful, warm, soft, caramelly color. Very great neutral if beige is your aesthetic. Highly recommend that color. Next up, we have the Super Puff Regular. This is the original version of the Super Puff before they came out with all of these extras. It's the one that was made famous by Kendall Jenner. I got it in the color Oak. It's this really beautiful, cold white color. And if I thought that I could keep the white clean, I would definitely keep it for that ski bunny look, but it's just not gonna work for me. However, if you're a very clean person, I love the white. Again, it has those storm cuffs, inside pocket, removable hood, and is an overall great jump into the puffer jackets. I got it in a size extra small. Usually I feel like I'm a small at Aritzia in most of their brands, but for the Super Puff, I think sizing down a single size is definitely the way to go, maybe even two sizes, depending on the jacket. Next, I am wearing the Super Puff Mid in the color Modern Taupe. The Modern Taupe is definitely a cooler, brownish purple shade of brown, I guess. I love the mid-length. I currently have a mid-length puffer jacket from a different brand, and I like that this one gives you a bit more room for walking. It doesn't feel super tight on my thighs, and it has the double zipper so that you can zip it up at the bottom if you're sitting and driving or you need a little bit more room for your legs, but still like a longer jacket. It hits me around the mid thigh, and I think it looks really good on, but it does look like an awkward length on the hanger. Finally, for the jackets, we have the TNA Super Puff long version. I think this is the jacket I will be keeping for the season as I was looking for a really long puffer version without looking like I was wearing a sleeping bag outside. I love that it has the button snaps on either side at the bottom third of the jacket to give you a little bit more extra room if you're a speed walker slash runner or you just like having a bit more airflow, but you can still button it up if you wanna keep it super cozy. Again, I got an extra small in all of the jackets. However, for the super long version, I think I will be exchanging for a double extra small. I'm usually a small at Aritzia, and the fact that I have to go down two sizes for this jacket is kind of crazy. If you are smaller than I am, and I think I'm pretty average sized, it's gonna be hard to find an extra, extra, extra small in that jacket because I'm sure Aritzia doesn't make a ton of runs in those sizes, but if you're looking for something super warm and cozy, this one is my top pick for sure. Moving on to the vests. I am shocked at how much I love the vests. If I was gonna pick three jackets, it would be the long version, the short vest, and the long vest. 
I really thought the long vest was going to look ridiculous on me, but I actually kind of like it. And the short vest just looks very cool, casual, sporty type vibe. The short vest version has the button pocket and again, still has the inside zipper. I feel like for the short vest, I might even size up to my regular size to a size small, just because right now baggy is the look and I don't love that when I zip it up, it feels like things are bunching out at the bottom. I've noticed all the jackets that are a bit shorter, the Super Puff Shorty and the regular length have button closure pockets and the longer versions have zipper front closure pockets. I'm not sure why Aritzia didn't keep it consistent across the jackets. I personally like a zipper closure pocket just because it's winter and you don't feel what's falling out of your pockets. I got the Super Puff vest in the color Timberline. It's this really beautiful, rich green color. I'm just a sucker for green. And then I got the long vest in the color Tawny. It's a very bright, warm, caramelly color, kind of like a tint of yellow, but I actually really love it. And I saw somebody wearing it with like a full beige sweatsuit and it was quite the moment. I think it looked really good. As for the long vest, very similar to the long jacket. It has the three buttons at the bottom if you want a little bit more walking room. It has the double zipper to open it at the bottom if you, again, need walking room or are sitting and driving. And now it's time for my special guest. Please welcome my husband. First up, we have the Mr. Super Puff in dark moss green. I'm wearing a size medium here and it feels a little bit too big. I don't mind the length, but the torso feels a little spacious. This jacket includes the storm cuffs. The pockets on these include snaps and the inside of the pockets are that microfiber fuzzy material. The inside of the pockets are pretty cozy, but I feel like over time they would start to collect pocket lint. Overall, I think the price to value ratio is pretty good. I'm yet to take it outside, so I don't know about the warmth. I think if you were to be a little harder on your jackets, it's not the most durable, but if you're just commuting, I think it's great. I'm wearing the Mr. Super Puff vest in the color Admiral. Somehow I ended up with an extra small vest. As you can see, it doesn't actually fit quite like an extra small. It fits more like a medium. I'm typically a medium in most other brands, so if you were to pick up one of these vests or jackets, I would recommend going into a store and trying it out. Vests are not my go-to warmth item. I think they can be stylish on some other people. I like that the hood can zip off so that you have some options for this vest. If you're going for warmth, I wouldn't recommend this vest necessarily as your arms are exposed. I always enjoy a good inside pocket. I think they're handy and I'm thankful that this vest includes that. As the wifey looking at you, I think you look really great. I am not used to seeing him in such a statement piece. I do feel like the colors are really beautiful and if you're a dude looking for a puffer jacket, it's a pretty cheap option. I wish the vest was a little bit longer as long as the jacket and I wish I got the jacket in a smaller size for him. We also noticed when comparing the price from the men's versions to the women's versions, it appears that for a very similar jacket, the men are paying about $25 more. So if you just want the look of the jacket, I don't think anyone's gonna notice if you go for the women's version. Save a couple bucks. I hope this review of all of the TNA Super Puffs was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed having my husband, my special guest on board. Let me know what you guys think of the Super Puff and if you will be purchasing a new jacket this season, whether you're going with Aritzia or not. And I will see you again next week. Bye.